Representing Team USA, to me, brings me back to watching the Olympic Games before karate was ever in the Olympics, and back when karate would never be in the Olympics. That's something I'm very proud of myself and my, my coach, my team, that before karate was ever in the Olympic Games, we treated ourselves like Olympians. We, we worked out like Olympians. Our daily schedule, you know, was the same as many Olympic sports. And in fact, we smiled the day that karate became an Olympic sport, our daily schedule didn't change at all. We were already doing what we needed to be doing. And, you know, I try to, uh, to bring that to every championships, every event that I can come to. So this question, you know, it, it really, I just have a, a general answer. And that is that you know, the most special part of, of my karate career is the entire career. I am always seen myself as a, as a lifelong martial artist. And I knew I was going to have a long career. This will be my uh, 14th or 15th Pan Americans. And to just be able to do that and chase that and enjoy this sport to the fullest and not miss a moment is my favorite part. The fact that I was able to participate in every type of event possible um, and stay grinding and stay chasing for this long is, is special to me. You know, I wanna keep chasing it. You know, it's just ingrained in me that I appreciate the sport. I enjoy what it's done for me. And, and even now at, at 34, just being healthy, being healthy and being motivated, I can see the value in it. You know, a, a 20 year old is supposed to be healthy and motivated and most 34 year olds are supposed to give up. It's supposed to move on, uh, but not me. And I, I want to keep that part of my life. And as long as I'm enjoying it and feeling well and fighting well, I'll keep going. I've been chasing world championships. You know, I think I, I guess I've been to seven world championships and I got a medal. You know, I became a world medalist and that was special too, but uh, still chasing and still uh, wanting to to achieve that dream but uh yeah it was a it was a great day a great performance minus a simple mistake in in a single moment and you know that's all that it takes but i was happy to put everything together that day and uh and check mark you know something off of a, a dream and but uh yeah more to come i have been able to put together many tools you know, now at this point in my career for, for that exact thing. And over, over 15 years, it changes what you, you know, the tools and methods you use to stay calm and stay relaxed. And, but off the top of my head, I mean, I think a big one is of course my faith. You know, I, I trust in the Holy Spirit. I, I let my faith communicate with me. So I accept wins and losses. You know, I've had so many losses, so many wins and it can't, uh, you know, not, that doesn't change. So I've, I've seen it all and I'm not afraid of outcomes anymore. And, and that's very liberating. So now I can enjoy punching and kicking and I don't have to worry about uh, chasing medals or anxiety about of things like that. So I, um, you know, I, it keeps me focused still, of course, but I think allowing God to speak with me through wins and losses is, is part of it. Uh, gratitude is a big, another part. So everything being right at home, you know, just like soldiers going off to war, if my family is in order and my work is in order and, uh, you know, I sh express that gratitude with my wife, being able to do this, you know, she's wonderful for that. And my little boy at home and little girl on the way, you know, all of that just makes it easy. You know, it makes, it makes this, uh, not to dumb it down, but it, it makes it easy and gives me a lot to fight for. And uh, again, just to go out and fight and not to look for certain colors of medals anymore, you know? So I'm chasing a good fight, a good opponent, good moments, and, uh, and that's all I need. <laughs>